boy have I got a pucker inducing shooting breakdown for you today. On 11 to 15 of 22 at about 10 25 a.m., Oklahoma City Police Department was notified that a man with an out of state felony warrant was at 14,000 Iron Road. Responding officers learned that the suspect, 38 year old Timothy Johnson, had been seen entering a travel trailer and were told he had not come out. Now, felony warrants are typically handled with much more caution than misdemeanor warrants are and especially out-of-state warrants that are extraditable. Those are typically your bigger things, ag assault, homicide, attempted homicide, all that stuff. The point is, is they're usually pretty serious. For that reason, we have a three officer response. Officer McCoy on point, Officer Rogers rocking the rifle, and Officer Mock with less lethal support. Officers met with Jennifer Garner. No, not that Jennifer Garner, who gave them consent to search the home and then the trailer. So let's get to it. Huh? That'd be good. She told me to go in. It's her trailer. It sounds like one of the officers wants to make sure that they're making legal entry. And this is very important because if entry is made illegally, any evidence or even any arrest that is made is at risk of being fruit of the poisonous tree and maybe tossed out in court. Now, I will tell you right off the bat, every officer hates clearing a trailer or being in a trailer. Not only do they usually smell awful, but the space is so small and there are so many hiding spots. There's really no perfect tactical way to clear a trailer. One minor thing here is that when Officer McCoy takes point down that hall into the master bedroom, she at one point turns away when she should tactically, she that's her point of cover, that's what she's taken, that's where she needs to be. Other officers can then clear the space behind her. Now they, take a look around the trailer and they see what they think could be a bulletproof vest. So it's clear that this guy may pose some sort of threat. They don't even know if he's in there at that point. So then they decide to open up the space under the bed. What's good here is that Officer McCoy does ask Officer Rogers for lethal coverage while they open up the bed. Cody, you got cover out there while we do this? I'm not one for Monday morning quarterbacking, but we do need to take what we can learn from these experiences. One thing that Officer McCoy does is she holsters her handgun. As they're clearing this building, as they're going into unknown threats, she favors her, her flashlight so that she can get some light in there. And it's a case of wrong place, wrong time. I know that these building clearings and things can become routine. You do so many of them and you never see a suspect. You, you've, you're on there for an alarm. You're on there for what have you and you just never see anybody. But the one time that this officer may have holstered her firearm ended up being the wrong time. No sooner did they open up the bed than this law abiding felon raises a Glock finger already on the trigger. He's able to get one round off, but luckily he's a terrible shot and misses it almost point blank. The two officers boogie on out of that death trap and Officer Rogers gets to work delivering rounds. Again, you can see in the footage that Officer McCoy's primary hand doesn't have a weapon in it. It's a bad day. Officer Mock and Officer McCoy get out, check themselves, radio that there's been shots fired, shots fired and get shots themselves fired, back fired. into the gunfight. You can hear an Officer Mock's body cam as he's re-entering the trailer, some groans that are probably coming from the suspect that has been hit by Officer Rogers' rounds. There's a lull in the fight, and officers up. start giving commands, telling him to come out with his hands up. Another round pops off, and Officer Mock's hit in the face by debris. That sends him stumbling back. He calls out that he's been hit in the face, but he keeps his gun out and stays ready for the fight. After a few more seconds of that, the officers decide that the best place in the world to be right now is not in that travel trailer. They say, not today, Timothy, and skip out. OKCPD's okay, tactical unit was sent out afterwards to engage the target, but attempts to communicate with the suspect were failed because he had already sprung a leak and gone the way of the dodo. Thankfully, the only injury sustained by officers during this incident was Officer Mock getting hit in the face by that debris. Lesson learned, don't get complacent even in routine building clearing. If you want more shooting breakdowns in the future, like and subscribe. This is Tased and Confused. Out. Check. 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 Check.